It's NBA action on EA Sports. I'm Ed Cohen. Great to be joined by Jay Williams for what should be a terrific matchup here tonight. From Smoothie King Center in downtown New Orleans, tonight it's the New Orleans Pelicans getting set to match up with the Los Angeles Lakers. Opening jump is won by the Pelicans. Hayden to Julius Randle. Not that time. Uh, he was smothered and still gets it to go down. That's a strong finish. Regardless of contact, finishing strong is key. Yes, and a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. The defender was actually in a good position there. They even made a decent play on the ball. But sometimes those bounces go the other way. Still, stay aggressive out there. throw up and good and the three-point play puts them up early in this one pelicans have the basketball knocked loose holiday driving right to the basket here comes the screen has a look the screen sets him up for two the pro game has really come down to pnrs let's see how the defense adjusts to ball. James. To ball. 4-3. Lonzo Ball hits the tough shot. The defender played it well. Lonzo strikes. That shot was nice. But that pass, that was the real highlight. Good teams always find a way to get the best shot available. Holiday. Shot from the lane, won't go. And physicality is your friend. Don't let these guys get any easy ones down low. Make them look at the refs, wondering where the foul was every time. There's the toss. Davis to Holiday. Oh, good defense by the Lakers. They come away with the steal. Pick up that sense of urgency. Here's a chance to break the tie. The assist from number seven, JaVale. Hayden into the front court. Down two. To Davis. Ah, oh, you've got to get that one to go. And a lot of times in this league, teams take days off. But if this defense keeps maintaining that style of pace defensively, this is going to be a dogfight. The pass taken away by the Lakers. To the rim. Flushes down the slam. Jay, that's a strong connection. And it's always about the play before the play. Look how the eyesight was able to connect between two players. We call that an eyesight contract. Because when you have a contract that's signed, sealed, and then delivered like that, that's how great plays are made. Not going to have it this time. Just erasing mistakes left and right. Ball lobs it up. Flushes down the slam. Feed the big fella. Point to the passer. So good when you get everybody involved, in particular your bigs. You get them going, they'll run the court faster, and guess what? They'll set harder screens because they're actually in the game. Peyton. To Davis. New Orleans down to four in the shot clock. Here's Davis. Anthony Davis. He's two for five. Not great, but trending. Layup's good. Those are the types of shots you always strive for. First quarter's complete. The Lakers have the lead.
first quarter complete on to the second period. A little bit of a feeling out process so far. I know you're wondering why I'm clapping. Both teams came out in the first quarter and they executed. When do you ever see that, Ed? You have to continue to bring those competitive juices into the second quarter, and we're going to have one heck of a ball here. Drew Holiday, he's finally on the board, makes his first shot. Hand down, man down. You got to get up and contest the shot. Short jumper off the mark. That's how you do it. You keep riding him to the basket, and if the refs aren't calling it, keep being physical. Keep knocking him off balance. JaVale McGee tosses. Flushes it home. Well, they have such great flow to their offense this evening. The ball isn't sticking to one player individually. It's moving around the perimeter, and it's zipping. They're playing with a special cohesiveness. MJ, they call the foul. That's just a blatant foul. Maybe he's trying to make a statement. Davis to Holiday. To Davis. Oh, good defense by the Lakers. They come away with the steal. That's called game plan execution to perfection. Every possession on the road is critical. Hayden with the basketball. Down eight. To Holiday. And it's Bowl who blocks the shot. That's why a rim protector is a necessity in this game. And look out. Big finish at the rim. And if you're on defense on that last possession, no need to look over to the coach's bench, hold up your arms, wonder what did you do. Everybody got back. Everybody communicated. Everybody pointed. It was just better offense than it was defense. That won't go. And there's always so much talk about defense. How about offensively? If you continue to attack that shooter, now you're making him work on the defensive end that makes him take his legs away on the offensive end. From long range, and McGee there for the rebound. Stuffs it down with authority. That has to feel deflating for the other side. They've really came out and made a statement so far in this first half. Another powerful dunk, but another easy dunk. When are we going to see some defense? Holiday. Five to shoot for the Pelicans. Drew Holiday. He is shooting well. He's made two-thirds of his shots. You know what I like about this pass play? Instead of putting his head down and forcing the action, he patiently waited for the play to develop. Deep right corner. Oh, he had him there for a second. Baseline drive. How you practice leads to that nice pump fake. Ooh, cool, calm, and collective. The three C's. His handles are effortless. Layup goes down. Well done. Well, he finished strong because he was able to initiate the contact. When you initiate the contact first, you bounce off the defender, which balances you at the rim. Late heave to beat the buzzer. That's it for the first half with the Lakers in command. Back to Ed and Jay to bring you the second half action. Jay, last year the Lakers 35 and 47, but that was before the King headed out west. What impact, obviously, will LeBron James have on this Lakers team and their record? There's no doubt that I think the Lakers will get over 35 wins. Will they get over 50, though, is the major question. I don't see that happening considering last year only two teams in the West, Golden State and Houston, had over 50 wins. West is loaded, so if you don't get over 50, if you're the Lakers, are you still in the playoffs? I think the Lakers will probably be a sixth seed. Yes, they will be in the playoffs this year. Let's it fly from beyond the arc. Pelicans have the rebound. Holiday controls the basketball. Down by 15. Payton to Holiday. To Davis. Down low. Turns and slams it down. 
And when we start talking about some of the top players in the game, can we talk about the guy that got first team all NBA for the third time in four years? Can we talk about the guy who was the second leading scorer in the league last year with 28 points per night? Can we start mentioning AD's name with the best in the game starting now? Pelicans basketball, Holiday to Julius Randle. Yes, and the foul, and a chance at three coming up. And I know there's so much excitement about the play, but everybody looks at the player. More people need to pay attention to the guy at the end of the bench, the strength and conditioning coach, because this kid's been putting in the time and effort every day in the weight room. Free throw up and good, and the lead's back down to 13. LeBron James. That's how it's done. He's four for four in the game. This offseason, I heard so many voices, even that of the great Shaquille O'Neal, talking about how LBJ needed to submit his own legacy. Well, for LeBron, it's not about chasing external. Oh, and he can't keep it in off the block. Man, that was impressive. He cruises in for two. Too easy. No doubt about where that one was headed. Lonzo Ball with the rock. No, not a good pass as the Pelicans come up with it. Probing the defense. And he's fouled. Davis going to the line for two. I don't know about that one, Ed. I always thought your hand was part of the ball. Knocks down the first. And he makes them both. One minute left. LeBron into the front court. Less than a minute to go in this third quarter. Curling inside, fakes, drives to the rim, and scores. Yeah, I've been in this situation before. Just raise your hand. We got a switch. Payton into the front court. The deficit now up to 13. To Holiday. The drive right to the basket. My goodness, did you see that, Jay? That's nasty. Don't, don't. Mm. Stuffs it down with authority. That's the intensity you need to see. Whenever a player running back on defense after a dunk like that holds the inside of his forearm, it lets you know how hard he dunked that basketball. New Orleans will take it up. Holiday to Davis. Throws it down. Here on their home floor, they're chipping away. I mean, does this crowd have a pulse? Are they even alive? Sometimes when you make a play like that, your crowd needs to get you back in this ball game. Can't connect. The follow won't go either. Can't get the bounce. This will be out of bounds off of Davis. Deep three at the buzzer, and he's fouled. Very close. Free throws coming up. There's a very fine line between maximum effort and carelessness. I'm willing to live with a few mistakes and maximal right, effort right. than having to constantly remind my players to close out. Second and three is good. Three for three. Nice. Third quarter comes to an end. So far, it's been all Lakers.
It's the Pelicans with the basketball as we start the fourth quarter. And they're not totally out of it just yet, but you'd have to say they have lots of work to do to get back in this game. They probably have to put together some kind of 10-0 run to get back in this ballgame, but this is when an opportunity has a chance to become magical. I've been part of it, and I've seen it happen so many different times. Just because a team has been dominating you the last couple of quarters doesn't mean that you can't start believing in yourself, that you can do anything you want to do on the court at any given time. You watch once you start to believe, you will get back in this game. To Holiday. Randall to Payton. Wide open look, won't go. Oh, I like that. You got the defense rotating from side to side. They're even recovering late, but still you got to make that one. To James. Oh, had him going there for a second. Nothing going here on that drive. LeBron James. The defense is really going to have to start paying attention. He's 5 for 5 for the field. It just seems like nobody can stop him but him. Once he's found his offensive swag, that boy's deadly. JaVale McGee to James. Straight down the middle of the lane. Way to punch it home. At this point, they're twisting in the wind. Were you looking for a response from me? Because I don't really know what else there is to even say. I mean, is this even a game? I mean, we should just start packing up and getting ready to go right now. Kuzma to ball. Kuzma to James. Takes it right to the rim. A lot of contact there, but they say no foul. When the ball is in his hands, we all knew what was going to happen. Send it away. Did you see how far he got up? He kept going up and up and up. I think he's still going up. To James. Tough shot and nearly a chance at a three-point play. No foul. Ooh, shows like this separate the good players from the great ones. The good players, they have good first halves, and then they fade to black in the second. The great players, they just sustain that kind of dynamic energy throughout the entire ball game. Ball with it up top. His guys hold the cup. Flushes down the slam. I know there's that old saying that says one man can't beat five, but we're watching one man carry four other players. His back has to be hurting. Another big time finish. Holiday in possession. His guys down big. To Davis. Fires the three. And the Lakers able to grab the rebound. Now pass. Stolen by the Pelicans. Whoa! What a finish! Stuffs it down with authority. The Lakers get the victory as they cruise to win a game that was never really in doubt. For Jay Williams and all our crew, I'm Ed Cohen saying so long for now. This has been a presentation of the NBA on EA Sports.